October 29, 2013, a fashion show was held in the 798 district of Beijing, which attracted a lot of attention. The elegant black suits, the white alabaster models, and the red-brown steel wires created not only a fashion show, but a drama. Designer Hu Shuguang returned to Beijing after 26 years of living in Holland and just completed his third fashion show in Beijing. For me, clothes are not just for warmth or covering our bodies. They are a source of inspiration. I hope when people see my designs that they will elect memories. I had begun thinking about using thorns as a theme for a long time. I then expressed this story through my designs. Hu Shaguang says that thorns represent an indifferent attitude towards life and inspire us to pursue new dreams. This was much like his experience of returning to Beijing and starting his own business after living overseas for 26 years. In the early 1990s, at the age of 16, Hu Shiguang, with $50 in his pocket, went to Holland by himself. As a result of his hard work, Mr. Hu has made a significant progress towards distinguishing himself. He's designed clothes for the Queen of Holland for about 10 years. I am so fortunate that this is already the second time. Now, 26 years later, he has returned to his home country where he continues to pursue his fashion career and on his own personal twist on haute couture. When I returned to Beijing, I hoped I would experience the same fresh feeling I got when I first went to Europe. I had almost everything I needed in Holland except adventure. I set a goal to enjoy my new life and start a new business by my 40s or 50s. While the economic crisis in Europe was becoming more serious and advanced customization of suits was declining, these sorts of things in China were just starting to take off. As Hu Shaguang says, fashion in China has only developed for about 20 years. During these last 20 years, China has developed into one of the world's largest markets for fashion products. The great numbers of potential customers has attracted many fashion designers, Hu Shiguang included. This time, his third show, Thorn, was inspired by his one and a half years of life experiences back in Beijing. In his Thorn design, he used black and steel wire props to express the pain brought on by thorns. When I walk around 798, I always see a stall selling woven and knitted products, and I think this is what we refer to as craftsmanship. So an idea suddenly came to my mind. Brown steel wire could be used by my models who were wearing black, elegant clothes. It might be interesting. Hu Shiguang spent one month on weaving steel wire into all shapes to make props that would convey to people the idea of a visual stab. As he explained, in modern life, people are more and more materialistic, but this also causes them to feel spiritual emptiness. Dreams seem more unattainable for us. People live like zombies as they can't feel happiness or pain. He wants to wake up these numb feelings, no matter how much pain this might cause. To maximize the expression of this numb feeling, Hu smeared all of his models with white and black paint from head to toe. As such, real humans became mannequins. To convey a sense of numbness, I looked at my mannequins and thought about them for a night. Then it hit me. Why don't I just turn my models into mannequins? Every model in this show presented clothing without any feeling or consciousness.
After the show, Hu Shiguang made the headlines of fashion magazines at home and abroad. He also was invited to participate in London Fashion Week. Stab is representative of stabbing emotions. Some think the concept is creepy. Others think it's crazy. Others think it's touching. For who? It's all of the above. But more than anything, the lens through which he sees himself. Did not deserve.